Tonight is an Emmy Award winning star of stage and screen beginning October 9th. You can see him on Broadway in his new one man show, Sexaholics. Please welcome John Leguizamo. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Glad to be here. Nice to have you at the show. You know, you've been coming on this show since the very beginning. Been a long time now. I feel like but... we're separated at birth or something. We've been together <laughs> yeah, so long. Yeah. We look alike. I'm like a black Irish fella. <laughs> you sort of are, yeah. And you do Puerto Rican. We'll switch off. Very on. much, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm speaking Spanish before the show, fluently. You're an albino Latin guy. That's what you are. I'm what? An albino Latin albino guy. Albino Latin. <laughs> okay, He's got that spirit and that funk in him. <laughs> yeah. <Come on. laughs> Yeah, yeah it's, it, it doesn't come through so much on TV, but in person... No, no, in person, it's so, so much flavor, sort of, flavor. Yeah, spicy sensuality. <laughs> easy, take it easy, easy calm down. Yeah. They get crazy. But I bring I this up. You've been, you've been uh, coming on the show for a long time, but I, I have to say, I saw this picture of you recently in some magazine, and I thought, John has arrived. It was a picture <laughs> of you being greeted by Prince Charles. I know, it's true. I finally got into a place in my life where, the, you know, Mr. Prince Charles came over and said, you were the man. <laughs> so you the he, man. he did not say you no, the man. No, he didn't say you the man. He didn't say any of that. He didn't even talk to me. Well, what, what, <laughs> what happened? I mean, you were over there for this film Moulin we were, Rouge, right? Moulin Rouge got, you know, we had a, what is it, a private royal screening for the, his royal majesty, which was, they coach you and they tell you, you have to refer to him as your royal majesty. And then afterwards, if he decides to talk to you, you have to call him sir. Mm -hmm. Right? So I was in my hotel room practicing His Royal Majesty, Your Royal Majesty, Sir, Sir, Sir. And I knew he wasn't going to talk to me too much because he doesn't know me, New York Joe Schmo, whatever. And so he comes up to Nicole, hello, it's a pleasure. You and McGregor, ah, it's a pleasure. And he comes up to me, oh, Mr. Leguizamo, you must be working very hard. You must have been put so much effort into this movie. And I was like, oh, wow, he's talking to me. Uh, uh, yeah, man. And he said, you could just. <laughs> After I practice all day, and he's like, you're going to take a vacation? Yeah, dog, I'm going to a farm. And I was, I was like, I'm sorry, I, I apologize, your royal, you might uh, exile me to another country, get rid of me. Yeah, yeah. You did not call him dog. I said dog. I was oh, a that's player. so great. That's so great. <laughs> it was not great. I was really, I was really embarrassed, because right. I really wanted to make an impression for our country. Right. I think you did make an impression. But not the right impression. I think you stuck out. That's good. Now, this new one-man show, I don't know if I pronounce it, it's Sexaholics, right? Sexaholics, a love story. Yeah, and, and, and where, did this, uh, where did this title come from? Why this title for your new one-man show? Well, you know, us guys, when we're young, I mean, all of us are sexaholics. It's all what you think about. It's all you want to do. I mean, my, yeah, you don't hey, deny on, it. Don't you know. deny <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm just like any other fella. Yeah, right, come on. <laughs> I thought about stamp like... collecting a lot. <laughs> Oh, you mm, my Teddy Roosevelt. Reach out through the licking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marilyn Monroe. Mm. <laughs> I know what Maybe, you're up Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we leave that alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> licking female stamps. Okay. Um, How are you? Fine. How's Did you going? try that material out on old Prince Charles? I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank so God wait, you're... so sexaholics, this is something that you, as yeah, well, a kid... Well, well we, were, we were, you know, my friends and I, we, we label ourselves, we call ourselves sexaholics because we couldn't get into the regular gangs, like, Savage Skulls and Nomads, so sexaholics, and we would serenade the hottest girls in Queens, man, and there was this one girl who her father was a cop, and he wouldn't let her down from her third floor apartment because she was too hot, and we used to call her Rapunzel Garcia. <laughs> and one night, we broke into elevated train, and, you know, because it was exactly third, third, third floor level, and we got in, they broke the conductor's booth, there's a parked train, sure. and we started going, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, she came out, we were like, what you about to hear is no test, but we Latinos are the best. I said, uh, ha 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 ha. <laughs> and her father came down and arrested us. Wait, wait, her father had you arrested? He had us arrested. I swear to God, I was arrested at that time, and they put us in separate jail cells. And I was scared because I was young, Latin, and friendly. <laughs> That's not you from Miss. I was just friendly. Right, right. And and uh, you know, I thought it was just some you know questionable people in the in the cell, and I had to become tough, man. Otherwise, you know. I'm gonna be, you know, a prison bitch. And, <laughs> and I gotta be tough. So I was like, yeah, yeah, who's gonna be my bitch? Who's gonna be my bitch? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Like I'm some. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. I just didn't think the conversation would go this way. 
You knew it would. Yeah, you're okay. To me. Yeah. Come on. So, uh, so you're actually saying that in the jail cell? I'm trying to act tough, yeah. and then all of a sudden my mom comes over, and my mom is like, John, what are you saying? I was like, Mom, how she long heard you? you? Yes. <laughs> and I say, how long you been listening? And she goes, long enough, me. <laughs> but whatever you and your bitches do is none of my business. <laughs> My mom had to deal with a lot of trouble. They handcuffed me to a chair, man. I was handcuffed to a chair. She came in. She was crying. Please let him go. He's not a criminal. OK, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I feel like that's OK, mom. It's OK, mom. Back away. I started crying. Yeah. But things are better now. Things yeah, are great now. I don't cry that much anymore. You got a, you got a, a baby girl. Yeah, you, yeah. Since the last time I saw you. Thank this you is great. Brand new baby girl. When right? are you going to have kids? Soon. <laughs> Finally, children I can legally acknowledge. Yeah. Right. Um, Your biological clock is ticking, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm almost 19. <laughs> you know, my father gave me some advice on how to be a parent. He goes, you know, just be yourself because they're going to hate you anyway. It's what I did. <laughs> That's not like father knows best kind of <laughs> no, advice. Different. He's right, though. You always hate your parents for something anyway, you know? Yeah, no matter what them. you do. Yeah, no, it's, uh, well, no, not, we, we all have problems. We're all conflicted a little bit with our parents. Be honest, you hate your dad. I hate him. See? You're easy. Pops, just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't watch anyway. <laughs> I'm on TV, God! <laughs> what happened? Where are we? No, we're, we're in therapy. Look, it's John Leguizamo. We're taping a show. <laughs> Actually, our time is up, but I, I am very happy for you. I'm really happy that you have a, a new baby Thanks, girl. Man. That's really exciting. Sexaholics. Opens October 9th at the Royal Theater, right here in New York yep. City. And King of the Jungle. Oh, King of the Jungle. I opens love that movie. Uh, November 9th. At the Angelica. And this has a really good cast. Oh, it's beautiful. Michael Rappaport, Marissa Tomei, Rosie Perez. And Rosie Perez plays my lesbian stepmom. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. She's good. That's awesome. We're almost the same age, <laughs> but she's my mom. Yeah. And, and the, you know, the director wrote it, and that, that's her husband. And he was like, you know, I bet you I'd like to see her in a scene, a lesbian scene. That would be good, yeah. <laughs> He hooked that up. I'm the director. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> he just had the movie do things he wanted to see. Yeah, it'll bring out your character. It'll bring a dimension that nobody ever saw. Yeah. <laughs> so do it again. Kiss her. He's a sick man. Well, King of the Jungle, November 9th. Check that out. John, really happy oh, for you. Oh, pleasure, man. Thanks, Thanks for coming oh, by. John Leguizamo, Lily Sobieski coming up. We'll take a break. Be right back.